you may be more confused like some of the positives are there in workbench some of the positives are there in apdl okay when to use workbench when to use apdl that is the first and uh, foremost question what we will get if we need higher accuracy we need to go for apdl that is first point and again if you want to control in the complex models for debugging or for doing any out of box models apdl is the better way but cad is very easy in cad application of material properties uh, cad corrections everything is easy in workbench what i'm saying like so workbench is easy in pre processing phase apdl is more beneficial in post processing phase that means after we get the results so solution anyway both it will take the same equation solution nobody has invented new system of equations so still we are using the old uh, strength of materials concept and also uh, this uh, what is uh, plate theory and elastic theory concepts right now this table will conclude us when to use which one you can see here graphical interface is easy easy in workbench because it it depends on the icons by seeing the icon everybody could able to see what is the purpose of it when compared to reading it use of memory is very low in apdl right so that means if low end systems are there apdl is more beneficial because the workbench creates lots of uh, uses lots of scratch memory and uh, lots of temporary files too amount of control since we have each and everything in our mode in our control we are doing manually so apdl has more amount of control we saw that unit system i have just to summarize all the points here unit system rather than converting directly put the value and automatically convert is gives more easiness right that we will give in uh, this a uh, workbench presence of modules it is higher in workbench couple field analysis is, is not at all possible in ansys directly we need to go for workbench only undo options it is not there in apdl complex models you can see apdl gives more benefit material repository workbench has inbuilt library so from this you can see in while starting a model that means unit system types of modules and undo options and also when we go to cad in other in the next one cad interactions cad corrections everything is easy in workbench whereas in apdl it is a little tough so automation tools mesh tools are there in workbench but we saw since there is no control we may get more errorness in element mesh okay use of commands is very easy as a starter no need to worry about the use of commands or codify a problem but it is very much beneficial and very much useful for each and every module results apdl is better resolving convergence issues apdl is better so by seeing all this this one thing we can say is workbench is always a subset of apdl if we know apdl each and every point it is very easy to learn workbench if we know workbench it is very tough to learn apdl because in apdl each and every step we have to think and do the process okay if you want easy source go for workbench but always easiness will give more errors more uh, issues while resolving or for convergence issues that means validation and verification is very difficult in workbench compared to apdl rather than this the best option is you can do modeling materials cat corrections everything in workbench bring that to apdl and solve the model or you can do solving in workbench extract the results in apdl okay that means combination of these two will give better value so i'm just 
going to conclude this. Workbench has a large number of pre-engineered modules, whereas in ANSYS or APDL, we have very less number, correct? So once we are identifying our problem, that means we do, do we need to go for model analysis, thermal, transient, then automatically it will take related element types, related material properties, everything in Workbench. But whereas in APDL, we have to mention the element type, material properties, and then, and then while going to simulation only, we have to uh, define whether it is thermal model or structure analysis. That means it won't show at the starting, rather it will show at the end of pre-processing stage. Okay. According to the user requirement and domain needs, you have to go for APDL or workbench. This is very, very important point. So if you need less errorness, you have to go for APDL. It depends on the product what we are using. For simple example, I can say this as in aircraft engines, our aircraft uh, companies, 99.9% .9 people will use ANSYS APDL only because they are very much bothered, very much keen about each and every step and also mesh controlness. If you are doing a products like which are not life critical, like any products, any household products or any uh, small kind of uh, drop test or something like household products in the sense, starting from chair to any products, some of the range and everything which are not life critical, we can go for workbench directly. So workbench will give the values, but you have to always validate it. Rather than this, if you have experience, this is the best way to do. Like by using both workbench and APDA, we can get a better way and easy and strengthen our model problem, uh, problem solving techniques, right? So any questions in this? Uh, ma'am, I have a question. Yeah, please. Hello. Uh, ma'am, uh, if we uh, do whole analysis either in APDL or in Workbench and uh, we are going to extract the same model in uh, mm. the other means, if we do analysis in APDL, we are mm -hmm. extracting that in Workbench or uh, doing analysis yes. in Workbench and extracting yes. in APDL. Yes. Then uh, in that case, uh, uh, which are the, the things uh, mm. those we have to follow again in uh, the... Mm other module for analysis uh, for suppose if i say one thing pre-processing is different that is clear everyone right CAD and everything is different in workbench and apdl but solution uh, sol uh, solver uh, equations are same if you observe keenly in workbench also it will write as apdl solver only okay solver is still exists the same as the previous one it they don't have any new solvers so irrespective of anything we should get the same results okay so uh, like any checks if you are going to maintain means we need to cross check what we have to uh, the same thing if you are doing for a simple cantilever bit in both the modules, we have to constrain on one of the side. That means we need to fix on one of the side. We have to apply load on the other side. In respect of any software, not only APDL or Workbench, if you are using Abacus, HyperMesh or whatever it is, the constraints will remain same. The load application will remain same. Correct? Those are the basic verifications we have to do if you are doing so. Uh, but ma'am, the fact is, uh, talking about uh, simple analysis, like uh, take the example of uh, static structural case for mm -hmm. any beam uh, column, mm -hmm. uh, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, for that, uh, if I'm modeling in workbench, uh, because workbench is uh, friendly for modeling. And yes. after that, I want to model some uh, piezoelectric sensor, etc. Uh, mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. which APDL tool is uh, friendly. Mm -hmm. So okay. in that case, I have to use both the tools. You can use, so, you can connect internally, they are giving the, that option too. You can convert workbench model directly to connect to APDL. From workbench, you can open APDL. 
uh, APDL uh, uh, mesh you can transfer to workbench. That option they are giving. Okay, ma'am. Means uh, up to meshing, I don't have to do uh, anything else uh, again in yes. APDL. Tha. Yes, yes. After yeah. meshing directly, you can transfer the data to APDL and then work there. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. So uh, like here, I would like to give one simple example. Actually in uh, APDL, we don't have any application of bearing load directly. If we need to apply bearing load, that is one side only, the load will get applied that to varying, right? Bearing load means. Uh, so for writing, for applying bearing load in uh, APDL, we need to write a macro, which is very tedious, okay? Whereas in workbench, directly they are giving that option. Okay, what we can do for a particular bearing, we can apply the bearing load and bring that data directly to APDL and solve that. Okay. Okay, ma'am, thank you. Yes. Any other questions? So if you need more, uh, this kind of details, uh, please follow. Uh, Ma'am, uh, I have another question. Yeah, please. Uh, Ma'am, uh, you told that uh, it is difficult in uh, Workbench to codify a problem, but uh, there is one option under solution uh, mm -hmm. manual of uh, solution information in Workbench mm -hmm. tool where mm -hmm. uh, we can uh, uh, put hold the program and uh, uh, the, the analysis will be uh, uh, followed by that program. So what about yes. that uh, program? Okay, yes, definitely. See, even the command prompts, uh, like command, uh, uh, what is that? The command text files, you can uh, copy paste in APD uh, workbench directly. Even that they are giving in insert option everywhere. But what it is, sometimes we may need to read the external data through CSV file, okay? for calculation of inputs and all. That is little critical to make completely as batch run in workbench. Whereas in ANSYS, it can connect one major macro can connect to n number of macros and import the data and apply it. Arrays, arrays and table system is still little difficult in workbench compared to APDL. Okay. okay? Thank you. Yes. So these are the courses we are offering to follow more blogs like uh, where APDL is useful or about CE rigid or about some of the portions of inside what ANSYS does, like how to check the connectivity, what are the minimum material properties required, why do we do static analysis, all these things we are uh, providing in terms of a blog in our website. Please do follow our website so that you will get to know so many types of like types of analysis. What is the requirement of these many types of analysis, types of non-linearity, all these things. Okay. Always when you are dreaming, plan your path. First, fix your domain or fix your area of interest. Plan your path, determine yourself, explore the uh, things, what is happening in your domain. Prepare yourself and start working on it. Okay. Yes. Yes, I'll just uh, give you the path for the blog so that it will be useful for you because most of the times people are asking me to have the blogs. When do we have, when do we need different types of support at which location we are going to use various supports, what are types of non-linearity and so many other kinds of questions regularly I'm uh, getting. So you can check in this below blog. For the same, you, we have our YouTube channel also. You can subscribe to our channel for uh, keep uh, updates, for regular updates. We'll be updating uh, our blogs on every Saturday, okay? So these are the services we are going to provide. These are our clients. Thank you. So if you have any questions, if you need counseling in career, please do reach us uh, for more details.
thanks each and everyone uh, hope these are the questions you have if you have any questions uh, i'm uh, here to help you out we are up with the time i'm just letting you know any questions yeah fine thank you guys thank you everyone thank you very much ma'am thank you all